Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over some of the best supporting Pokemon builds that you can take into the seven star terror raid event for Del Fox that'll be landing later this week. We've already covered a solo builds video on the channel for some of the best options that you can take in if you're not going online, if you wanna do this in your game yourself. But we have had a lot of requests recently asking for a video like this. So I thought something a little bit different, if it is received well by all of you, it's something that we can continue you doing in the future. So supporting builds are slightly different to what your solo builds would be. Solo builds are primarily things that can go into the raid den, take, sponge up a lot of damage, set themselves up and also reduce the stats on the opposing Pokemon to make it really quick to kind of go through these raids and farm for the high cost items, make them super easy to do by yourself in your game. But obviously on the other side of that, you do have this online facility where you can go online, join players online, but it is slightly different because there is a lot more emphasis on all of your partnering players not getting knocked out because every time they get knocked out then chunks get taken off the raid timer so having pokemon that can support in various different roles against these big threatening pokemon are very helpful and that's what we're going to try and cover in today's video pokemon that you can specifically take in with your friends online or randoms online and do pretty well against this del fox in a variety of different situations so before we get into the video itself we'll take a quick overview of del fox this is the expected set that i see the del fox kind of coming in with when it goes live later this week just to bear in mind its hp multiplier is times 30 so at level 100 this is the hp stat that you're looking at that you're going to have to knock out del fox will have more than likely it's magician hidden ability here which will steal your held item so that's something as well that you're gonna have to bear in mind going into this raid terra fairy typing and it has a pretty decent base speed stat so it will be pretty speedy compared to some of the previous raids that we've went up against now the expected set that i've i kind of think del fox will run is something along the lines of this i'll have a fire stab obviously to play off that base fire typing that it does have so overheat is its probably most powerful attack that it does get access to and a bit like the charizard raid that we had very early on in the games it could play on that where it launches that off turn one and, and then resets its stat drops after that but something that you're gonna have to keep an eye out for uh, it could have something like heat wave or flamethrower as well well, it's going to have a psychic move because it is part psyching as its base typing. So psychic or psy shock uh, are definitely strong options that it can play off. Dazzling Gleam is a no-brainer. It's definitely going to have that. It is its only big fairy type attacking move. So unless it's going off Terra Blast for like once, it's definitely going to have Dazzling Gleam. And then coverage options, it does have Solar Beam, so it could have that, a grass type coverage. It could play off that if it has something like Sunny Day or Hex as well. If it has something like Will-O-Wisp that can double the damage and give it ghost type coverage as well uh, it's set up options that it does have access to magic room that nullifies the ability of all held items for five turns so that could be something that it plays into alongside that magician ability you know wizard witches uh theme that it does have kind of going on that would make sense it does have charm so it can reduce the attack stat on your side of the field by two stages and it has nasty plot as well something that i think a lot of us need to watch out for and something probably quite likely that the del fox will have boosting its special attack by two stages every time it uses it so you could see it being pretty threatening quite quickly if it nasty plots on that turn zero before the actual raid begins um, and then it kind of can launch off big powerful dazzling gleams psychics overheats etc uh, so it can be pretty pretty dangerous pokemon and i think with its typing fairy you want to bring uh, steel types against it it's got fire coverage for those you want to bring poison types against it it's got the psychic coverage for those so it's a really difficult pokemon to bring and unlike previous seven star terror raid events where everyone kind of thinks oh well annihilate will be great going into this one i really don't think annihilate is going to be that effective into the del fox raid because it's going to be hit by those fairy types pretty hard and the psychic typing as well is going to hit the the annihilate for good damage so i don't think it's going to be as effective as maybe some 
previous seven star terrorids and a lot of emphasis i think falls on some supporting pokemon especially going into this one so as this is just a kind of a trial sort of video i haven't actually put these builds together in my game i've put them together in the showdown builder so we can go through each one independently here but we're going to start off with hisuian gudra so hisuian gudra is a steel and dragon typing it has good typing it has amazing defenses as well we've went for the steel terror typing on it it is level 100 of course leftovers is the item of choice and we went for the shell armor ability sap sipper gooey aren't really that useful in this one gooey could be useful to reduce the speed stat but overall i think shell armor and just making sure that you don't affected by critical hits throughout the game is probably more beneficial so we've went for rain dance because i think one of the big things that you need to keep an eye out for with uh, Hisuian Gudra is that it does have that steel typing and the dragon typing so fire type attacks are going to be neutral against it um, and the fairy type attacks are going to be neutral against it so they're the two big things that you're going to have to worry out for but it does have some really good options for supporting you can reduce the power of those fire type attacks with the rain dance you've got life due to support you and partnering pokemon that you've gone into the raid with and acid spray is a huge move that you can use to reduce the special defense on the del fox and it hits through the shield as well so that's really nice and then your main attacking option for yourself is going to be flash cannon to kind of play off that acid spray but with leftovers you've got nice recovery there alongside the life dew and the rain dance should keep you pretty protected throughout the raid so if we hop over and we can have a quick look at some damage calculations here you can see that the hisuian gudra uh, even in the rain does take things like fire blast pretty well so fire blast or if we change that to overheat you can see it is going to be able to take these big powerful fire type attacks pretty well uh, so we'll be getting like eight hit kill against like an overheat in the rain just make sure that the rain's there if the rain's not up you will be taking a bit more damage so just be aware of that but once your rain dance is up you're going to be in a really good position your flash cannon's doing good damage to this del fox as well and of course if you can get the minus six if you can get three acid sprays off you're going to be doing quite a bit of damage especially after you trastalize as well you're going to be doing a significant chunk of damage so 300 to 400 percent in forest supporting pokemon i feel like that's not too shabby at all uh you've got the shell armor on there and then an ev spread for this particular gudra is going to be 252 hp with 252 special defense and a calm nature on there just boosting that special defensive stat even further and you can see sky high special defensive stat on the gudra which makes it really good going into this one and i think with the offensive steel type attack that you've got on there it really does have the ability to support partnering pokemon with the rain dance the life dew the acid spray and also have a nice offensive option to it as well so really good option going into this raid especially if you are going online uh his and gudra are going to be good you just got to keep an eye out for things like the overheat which can be a little bit problematic so keeping the rain up on the field if you've got this pokemon out is going to be quite important for prolonging its longevity on the field. Now the next Pokemon is going to be a Lolan Muck and I do feel like this is a really nice option. It's obviously dark and poison so with that dark typing it does have the immunity to psychic typing so it kind of takes that weakness away from its poison typing as well and it does have the ability to reduce the defensive stats on the Del Fox. It's got Screech. This particular set here is for something if you want to partner it up with more physical attackers. Uh, but you can also go with Acid Spray on the Alola Muck as well. It does get access to both Acid Spray and Screech. But this for this particular build, I thought it would be nice to kind of mix things up and have something that reduces that defensive stat, not only always relying on the special defensive stat that we're kind of concentrating on against this raid. Uh, so Snarl is a nice option on the Alola Muck uh, for good reason. It's going to reduce the special attacking stat on the del fox by one stage every time you use it it hits through the shield as well so if we do see the del fox with something like nasty plot we can mitigate that through the snarls to further support reduce its attack power and support partnering pokemon screech is the option that we're choosing at the start of the raid of course if the shield goes up you're not going to be able to screech it any longer but it can reduce the defensive stat by two stages on the del fox which is going to be quite important 
especially if you are pairing it up with more physical attackers like I mentioned earlier. Alternatively, you can go with Acid Spray in this slot, which will support more primarily special attacking Pokemon by reducing the special defense by two stages. Taunt is a nice option on here. You can interchange this for something like Knock Off that can play uh, into that Magician ability. If it does start stealing items off you or partnering Pokemon, the Knock Off might be a nice option to have to get rid of the item on that Del Fox. Uh, but you're probably going to end up having no items on the field at all. And it might even be when we go into this raid, prefer to have no item on your Pokemon so you're not giving the Delphox any benefit from any held item at all if it is playing off that magician ability but taunt otherwise a very good option to go for like turn one to shut down the option on the Delphox going for the anything like sunny day and will-o-wisp uh, nasty plot any of those setting supporting moves that it has access to so we'll shut that option down on the Delphox pretty quickly and a decent option there and then gunk shot is the main attacking option 120 base power poison type attack and then you combine that with the Screech, you're going to be doing a good amount of damage. So it can play a nice supporting role as well as being a more offensive option as well. And we went for the Poison Terror typing on this one. I think you're just going to have to play it quite coy when you go for the Terrestrialization with the Alolan Muck because you want to make sure that the Del Fox's special attack is reduced to a point where the Psychic isn't going to be picking up a knockout or huge damage onto you once you do Terrestrialize to take advantage of the Gunk Shot, that extra power on it. So just make sure you play with it a little bit carefully and maybe it's more preferable in these matches if you are taking a Lola Muck in as a more of a supportive Pokemon then not to terrestrialize at all so you keep that immunity to the psychic typing and then you have that neutrality to uh, Dazzling Gleam because obviously with the poison typing you resist the fairy types but the dog typing is weak to it so neutral attack from that and of course I think as well having something like Rain Dance as another supporting Pokemon on your team is just going to help the Alola Muck even more because those fire type attacks are still going to be hitting pretty hard and then when you look at some of the calculations here you can see on the Muck it does take things pretty well from the Del Fox but at the same time you have to be a little bit careful if the rain isn't up like here the fire blast or let's say the overheat will be doing a good amount of damage to you every turn so you're going to be looking at a three hit KO if the rain isn't up whereas if the rain's up you're in a much better position and every time that the Del Fox uses the overheat of course if that is the option does reduce its special attack by two stages and if you combine that with something like the snarl you're going to be sitting in a really nice position going forward the EV spread on the muck is going to be 252 HP 252 special defense uh, four in attack and a careful nature as well so that's the EV spread on this one shell belt is the item of choice just to give you a line of recovery you could go for something like leftovers on it as well poison terror type level 100 uh, but that is the Alola Muck and I do think a nice option in specific situations and it has that flexibility between the Screech and the Acid Spray so it can support both physical and special attackers at the same time. Next up is a hot topic and it is Heatran and I do like Heatran going into this raid because it has all the resistances that you need going into Del Fox obviously with the Steel typing it resists the Psychic it resists the, the Fairy well it's got four times resist to Fairy with the Fire and the Steel and it has that flash fire ability as well which is really important for making sure that it's steel typing doesn't get uh, affected by any fire type attacks that can come out from the Del Fox because you're going to be immune to fire type attacks with flash fire and it's going to boost your fire type attacks as well we've went for a, a steel terror typing on it shell belt is the item choice for a line of recovery uh, we've got the the move set of metal sand that's going to reduce the special defense on the Del Fox by two stages every time you use it so really good supporting Pokemon for other special attacking Pokemon that you've got partnering up with you we've got taunt as well plays a little bit like that Lola Muck to stop set up on the Del Fox's side of the field and then Flash Cannon is going to be your big option there now for the fourth choice I couldn't really pick anything you could go Steel Beam if you want a big powerful attacking option if you are uh, lacking some power at the end of the raid that could be an option or you could just go with something like Heat Wave or Flamethrower uh, or even Overheat of your own because it is going to do neutral damage to the Del Fox nonetheless the big problem I've got with the Heatran in in particular is that it's just got no way to boost its own stats so it would be so good it would be the best raid pokemon to go in solo to support with 
if it had something like Calm Mind or if it had something like Nasty Plot, but it doesn't have access to any of those and really you're kind of lost for a, a choice of a fourth move on this one. I have seen an option uh, on here of Sleep Talk and Rest as well that you could go with around the metal sound the flash cannon and that is a nice supporting option because you've got the longevity with the rest that you can use then sleep talker allows you to use metal sound or flash cannon the only problem with the metal sound is that you have got to consider that when the shield goes up you're not going to be able to utilize that move so that is a move that you're going to have to use early on in the raid and the same thing with taunt as well it doesn't get access to help in hand so it's very limited on its actual supporting options when the shield goes up and you have to really take advantage of these options very early on in the raid and depending how the Del Fox raid actually sets up we don't know until the raid goes live whether or not the shield's going to go up earlier if it's going to go mid or kind of late into the raid so uh, Heatran going to be really good regardless because of its defensive typing it is going to be able to take a bunch of attacks off the Del Fox so easily like you look at these defensive tabs uh, it takes a psychic psychic's going to be Possibly the worst move ever in the damage calculator. And then you've got Dazzling Gleam as well, which is even even worse. Uh, it's not going to be affected by Fire Blast, Overheat or anything like that. And your Flash Cannons are going to be doing decent damage to it. And I mean, if you can get those Metal Sands out and get three of them off, get it down to minus six, you're going to be doing considerable damage with the Flash Cannons from the Heatran. So it is a very good option. It gives you a lot of longevity on the field. The only problem is I feel like it's not got very many good other supporting options for partnering Pokemon uh, and it hasn't got a way to kind of expedite its own special attack any further uh, outside of just the Metal Sand which is really reliant on when that shield goes up but nonetheless a good option just not something I would run to straight away to say this is the Pokemon for this particular raid and for those reasons that we've covered but level 100 steel terror typing flash fire is the ability shell bell the item like I say you can change it up for leftovers if you'd like uh, EV spread is 252 special attack 252 special defense with a calm nature and four attack in a special attack and um, that is the Heatran next up it is a Pokemon that we featured in our solo builds and I really do feel like Armor Rouge is one of the best Pokemon to take into this event either even if you want it as a solo build or even as a supporting option as well it's got such good utility tools to really disrupt the Del Fox set up on it as well and do some good significant damage to it even though you're not going to be hitting it for primarily like super effective damage with the the move choices that you've got on the armor rouge but level 100 as always psychic terror typing shell bell as the item of choice Flash Fire as the ability. EV spread, we have 252 HP, 252 special defense with a calm nature. That four should be not in defense, but in special attack. So that is the EV spread. And of course, all the EV spreads, the builds will be down in the description if you'd like to take a closer look at them after the video. Uh, the moveset that we've got on the Armor Rouge, Clear Smog, Acid Spray, Calm Mind, and Psychic. Now, Calm Mind can be changed out for something like Light Screen if you would prefer to have it there. But if you want to have a more supportive and kind of offensive mode to Armor Rouge when you're going in online with it uh, as a supporting Pokemon as well, then Calm Mind works pretty nicely with this particular Pokemon. Now, the reason why I really like Armor Rouge a lot in th this raid is it resists the fairy type attacks that come out from the, the Del Fox. It has a complete immunity to all the fire type attacks with the flash fire. And because of its psychic typing as well, it resists the psychic type attacks. Now, the things that you'd have to watch out for, of course, if it does have something like Hex, that could be a problem, but otherwise Armor Rouge is going to be a really solid option uh, for pretty much any role that you want to go in against this Del Fox with later this week. Uh, the Clear Smog is brilliant. We've already mentioned things like Nasty Plot that the Del Fox could have access to. Clear Smog is going to work through the screen and it's going to remove any stat boosts to that Del Fox that it's got. It will remove any stat drops as well, so that's something you have to bear in mind. But I mean, if it's got three Nasty Plots off somehow and it's plus six special attack, uh, and you've got minus six special defense on it through the acid sprays, it's worth removing those special attack boosts just to start using the acid sprays again. It's a really good utility move and great for uh, supporting partnering Pokemon, especially online raids as well. Acid spray, we've already mentioned it, reduces the special defense by two stages every time you use it onto the target Pokemon and then Calm Mind boosts your special attack and special defense one stage every time you use it in Psychic. You could go with something like 
expanding force if you've got a partnering Pokemon that has access to Psychic Terrain. But I think you're boosting the Delphox's attack power as well because it's more than likely going to have Psychic or Psy Shock. So you don't really want to be giving it any additional boosts. This is the reason why we went for Psychic and it also has the benefit of dropping the special defensive stat by one stage. 10% of the time when you use it so it's got that added effect to it if you haven't been able to get all three acid sprays off and the nice thing about armor rouge as well is you've got that quick setup with it where you can go for three acid sprays and then you're pretty much ready to terrestrialize right and then just start chucking out those big powerful psychics onto a minus six special defense Delphox so you're going to be hitting it very hard and you, the resists that you've got with Armor Rouge are just phenomenal I think really one of the best choices that you can take in this weekend and personally something that I'll be definitely using I mean you can look at the damage uh, you've got no damage coming out from any fire type attacks the psychic does more than the dazzling gleam which says a lot of course um so that is still a six hit kill and if you have got yourself like a calm mind up then that's going to be reduced even further so you've got the clear smog to keep in check any stat boosts from this delphox so throughout the raid if it does get to plus six you can remove that quite quickly uh, and negate any of those nasty pop boosts and then with the ev spread of 252 hp 252 special defense in the calm nature you're going to be soaking up these attacks pretty well and supporting partnering pokemon and have the ability to also set up yourself and do some significant damage in the process so armor rouge like i say i'm kind of singing its praises because i do just feel like it's such a good option this coming weekend right next up is cresselia it is available now through pokemon home and it has access to some really good supporting options so level 100 we've went for a psychic terror typing on it the item choice is light clear ability is levitate we've got a 252 hp 252 special defense with a calm nature and get rid of that defense and put foot into special attack uh the moveset that we've got is lunar blessing light screen rain dance and psychic and through all of these options here you've got great supporting options for the cresselia it's naturally very bulky so it's going to be able to kind of tank a lot of hits from the delphox and support partnering pokemon as well as kind of reduce the attack power from the delphox as well with the options that we've got so Luna Blessing, a great option because it heals you and partnering Pokemon by a quarter every time you use it, as well as their status conditions, which is really nice, especially if we see something like Will-O-Wisp on there as well with plays off maybe Hex. But, you know, all in all, Luna Blessing, a really great supporting option on the Cresselia. Light Screen is going to be the main thing that we're going to be going for. Delphox is going to be primarily going to be a special attack in Pokemon. There's no way it's going to have physical type attacks because it's got no way of really doing any damage to you and the raid would be pretty useless otherwise. So light screen with the light clear, uh, in, it extends the amount of time that the light screen can stay on the field. So rather than five turns, it'll stay on, this, on the field for eight turns. So once you've set that up with the light clear, hopefully you can get that off turn one, then you've got eight turns of light screen, which is just going to really support the rest of the team super well for the rest of the battle. And then you've got Rain Dance as well, which is going to reduce the power of those uh, fire type attacks. That can be quite threatening, especially if we see something like Sunny Day on the Delphox to kind of further boost the, the attack power of those. And then Psychic is just going to be an option for us to have some offensive pressure. It's not going to be doing a lot, but you're going to be able to get some chip damage off onto the Delphox every turn that you use it. And you can have a look at some of the damage calculations here from the Delphox onto the Cresselia. And you're going to see that it is able behind the light screen just to soak up these attacks so, so well. And it's not taking any damage from anything, especially if you've got the rain up, you've got that light screen up, you're going to have like well, I mean, it's not even going to be a conversation about taking you down, especially with the Lunar Blessing, where you're going to be able to just heal off any damage coming out. Uh, the Psychic doing 5 to 6% damage, Dazzling Gleam doing like 9 to 11. And even if it does get carried away with those plus 6 like nasty plots, it's got like 3 nasty plots under its belt. With the rain up and the light screen, you're still taking things pretty comfortably there as well. And hopefully you've got a partnering Pokemon at that stage to have something like Clear Smog to get rid of those boosts but you're still not going to be like one hit KO or two hit KO by anything uh, as long as you've got the light screen and the rain up even if it does get to the point where it is carried away but hopefully you've got some factors to kind of help mitigate against that setup if that is an option on it and then the final pokemon that we're going to cover in today's video is pelipa i do feel like this one is a little bit of a sleeper pick and for one reason well for two reasons for two reasons has the drizzle ability something that we haven't really discussed 
uh, so far is the option of wide guard and I think in this particular terror raid it's going to be very very good uh, for the reason is that Delphox only has access to one big fairy type attack and that's Dazzling Gleam and it is a spread type attack so it hits everything on the opposite side of the field now the the thing with wide guard is you can use that and it will block any spread type attacks so Dazzling Gleam won't affect any of you you or your partnering Pokemon when it is used as long as you use in wide guard your whole team is protected so I think in a raid situation wide guard could be so useful especially helping you kind of set up mitigate any big damage coming out uh, especially if you're running pokemon that are either hit neutrally by fairy type attacks or weak to fairy type attacks Pelipper could play a massive supportive role in these raids um, um for example i've got this kind of build here and this is just to say if you've got three friends that you can go online with Put this build together and try it because I think the Pelipper with the Wide Guard protects the Hisuian Gudra so well. The big thing that Hisuian Gudra has to worry about is the Dazzling Gleam and also any fire type attacks. But with the Drizzle, you don't need to worry about the fire type attacks. And then the Dazzling Gleam, it's going to be blocked by the, the Wide Guard. And then you can just go for like turn one, Wide Guard, Acid Spray with everything, get it down to minus six straight away and then go for like a wide guard or a helping hand, a cheer attack, and then attack it with your other two uh, Hisuian Gudras. And you're gonna be able to kind of cut through it very quickly. So that was just one quick idea I had with the this particular Pelipper. Um, but I do feel there's a lot of value in wide guard. The interesting thing is as well is Armor Rouge gets access to wide guard. So this could be something that you could play on Armor Rouge uh, with the acid spray um, alongside it. If it is something that you prefer to do to have that support option to really cut out any possibility of Dazzling Gleam being an option for the Delphox throughout the raid. Uh, the other options that we've got on the Pelipper are Helping Hand, Aqua Ring, you can change that for Roost if you like. I just feel like Aqua Ring is one of those options that you can set up at the start of the the terror raid and then just let it kind of tick up uh, recovery throughout especially when you pair it up nicely with leftovers you've got that wide guard that you might be utilizing quite a lot throughout the terror raid so the leftovers recovery stacked up with the aqua ring make sure that the pelipper is going to be able to stay in a healthy position for the majority of the raid and then hurricane is going to be the big damaging attack on there that plays off the rain because it's 100 percent accurate it has a chance to confuse as well the target pokemon and then we have ev spread of 252 hp 252 to special defense with a calm nature and again get rid of that fawn defense too much of a habit and put it into special attack uh, because it's going to be more useful there anyway but overall uh, water terror typing on it you could change it to something preferable but I don't really see you really terrestrializing the Pelipper and it's not going to be playing a huge role you could go for something like a flying uh, terror type on there if you'd prefer to um, but all in all, I think the Pelipper with that wide guard, the helping hand and, uh, you know, these support options are going to be very good going into this raid in particular as a supporting Pokemon. So they are all the builds that we're going to cover in today's video. I hope you find them useful. Let me know if, what your thoughts are on these builds and what your thoughts are on this specific sort of video, because normally we concentrate more on our solo builds rather than our supporting builds. But it is a big part of the Terror Raid event. Obviously, a lot of you like to go online and play maybe a bit more supportive with friends and things like that and hopefully these pokemon give you other options outside of the the majority of things that we cover here on the channel which are more centered around solo builds and might inspire some ideas for you to go in and build some things for yourself and put combinations of pokemon you know like we did with the pelipper with that wide guard um, and the hisuian gudra you can even play off something like that with the alolan muck as well where you've got the alolan mucks protected by the wide guard because it's primarily going to be worried about the dazzling gleam over anything else over quill is another option as well that dark and poison typing that you could play into uh, and take advantage of the wide guard in those different situations so let me know if you've got any support supporting options that you've got in mind that you'll be taking into this terror raid event and what your thoughts are on all of the builds that we feature in today's video like i say if we get a good response from this video it's something that we'll continue doing for future seven star terror raids going forward but i did want to throw this out because we have had a lot of people requesting this on the channel recently and thank you so much for all of those requests as well so i hope if you have requested it you found this useful thank you so much for tuning in friends drop a like if you have found it useful do subscribe to the channel as always to stay up to Today with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye